Hello and welcome to Geek at Play Studio tutorial. And let's now look on a practical way we can use the function editor. And one way is actually it's nice when we start creating the clouds. Let's adjust our camera. We'll preview scene. sky. We'll go surrender to screen 640 by 480. Okay, and now we'll go to atmosphere, atmosphere editor. Let's add the clouds. So we'll go to add and by the way I'm set to the spectral model so we can a little bit better manipulate with clouds just let's select cloud pops let's click OK and you know what let's increase a little bit cover here when we preview this is normal clouds but in close up they look like just dark blobs so to modify cloud settings We'll go to this window, you can right click, it says edit material, or you can just double time click, it will also open material editor for the clouds. And what I'm looking at is work on this density production. So again, right click, edit function. And this point, if you look, we are actually in a function editor for the our clouds. A little bit smaller. Okay, and even on that scale what we do if we add turbulence node here okay and we'll go to um, origin okay, let's go right here we already will have it much more details so let's increase a little bit larger uh, details maybe harmonic and again right we can preview right in this window we can actually see how it will be changing so maybe one little bit on the scaling create kind of lines okay, preview this way and yeah probably about 10 was right okay so we can see how we already create lines compared to other ones. Let's click OK. Also we'll go edit our filter. And I want to increase this up. So we'll add a little bit more clouds control over. Click OK. Yeah, we want to keep it cast shadows. Let's click one more time, OK, and maybe reduce slightly scaling. And this is when we start work with the scaling. We need to see which one actually will be better for us. Increase our cover. See if we want to altitude. OK, so in even right now when we start rendering, you can see already we have it much more details apply into our clouds. You know what? Let's add a couple more things. So maybe set this to one. See if we can increase covering. Opacity. Can let's go inside. Edit function. Now let's go to our turbines. Maybe in decrease larger feature, make smaller. Oops. Yeah, so we'll go increase amplitude, harmonic, and decrease scaling. So we go right here. Okay, I just bring a little bit more cover so we can look a little bit more on the clouds. And one more thing I want to do right now, just set to final. It will give it us a little bit better preview on the clouds. Also, boost up quality to 2, 
to reduce grain because I want to see a little bit more in details how it's come up. Okay, let's render. Okay, it's done our render. And we can see with adding simpler turbulence, we already have it much more details in the clouds, it's not just the one simple blur because the density is internally work better. We can add more shadows, so it will bring more details. And let's look on a couple other things. Let's create another. So we'll go just to repeat it, so we'll delete this one. And let's add a behind dance one. Again, we'll add, we'll go to our material editor, edit function. And again, right here, you see we have a one simple uh, noise. We'll just go right here, add the turbulence. We'll go to origin, select our noise, increase the larger feature, harmonic. It's going to just leave it in scale. We can maybe make yeah, a bit interesting effect. So preset we have it. Okay, let's click OK here. Also, if you want, we can modify um, layer. I want to increase roughness a bit more on variations. We can add cast shadows. Click OK. If you want it, we can decrease scale. Okay, maybe too much. Bring them leave it down. Okay, maybe forty percent increase on density. So we'll give it a little bit better details. Also, one thing with ambient light, if we go and we make ambient light darker, that will also help to bring more details in the cloud. If you set your lighting to ambient light. Okay, so we'll go all the way here, shadow density a bit lower. Okay. And let's preview these clouds. Okay, and uh, here is final render for these clouds. And you can see on the details with adding turbulent node, it will brought much more details and interesting kind of look in the clouds. Okay, and while we look on a cloud, couple things at one point. One, you saw how we have some grain. And to reduce grain, the one of the best way is going to quality boost. And you can slide from minus 4 to 4, by default set to 0. You actually can go higher than 4. You can go um, 10, 16, 20. But it's price to pay for this. The render time is increased dramatically. So in some cases, 4 um, you want to probably set maximum or jump a little bit higher on the quality. Um, in uh, when we created a Pro Sky set, actually most settings was actually about 10 and 8. It's how we produce very smooth and nice, less grainy imaging. But it's take a very long time for each image to render. Also, enable guard rays will produce a little bit more grain. I notice. Um, our sun is positioning, so it will affect the shadowing, and we'll look on this in other tutorials. Um, overall quality boost in this area under light, it won't affect clouds and sky, it will affect actual objects if we have it down on the ground. So it, if you have it in more on a global illumination and you want to boost up quality, it will increase time, but it's produce better result on a um, object on the grounds with texturing okay so we have it these clouds and a um, couple other things I want to show you with the clouds you are playing so let's add just any clouds just go ahead okay and let's take this one and delete it so we have just normal clouds we go to edit material and other things also you can do 
it is create upload the image so we have it not select for the image and let's load it so we go select the school again click ok you know what let's delete this one and we'll go from density inverse so we'll have it eyes is open okay here we reduce so let's make a little bit smaller for this one okay let's set okay now we'll take camera And also a couple of things I want to do, just set to preview mode. Okay. And also on atmospheres, because we don't really care about grain, but more about speed. We'll set back to zero. And let's preview. So you can see how we take it now with function editor. We took our school and we apply it to the cloud. So now we have a bunch of schools floating around in the air. And of course, if we take camera and look even higher, up, and maybe zoom out more. So here we have our cloud shape as a school that is floating on a sky. So you can apply with the images in Function Editor. You can actually apply density to your clouds in a way you want with your picture. And again, if for some reason you say, you know what? they look all symmetrical I want my modify again we can go to our edit function and you remember we click on a node and we'll add combiner here which currently is blender and we'll add additional noise or actual fractal we'll connect our fractal make it a little bit more rough and we can blend it here a little more one or another way so in this case, we add more um, effect, more different puffing instant cloud. And this is some another ways you can make your custom clouds with the different type of shapes if you want it. Okay, let's render. So we have it skeletons but if you notice they're not exactly same symmetrical the edges now look a bit deep um, rougher because we add the noise and again to remove this grain we need go in and add quality boost okay well this is probably all on the clouds and thank you for watching this tutorial from geek at play studio if you have more questions or need more tutorials please come visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com